Hey, it's Enjoy Work Expert Aisha Cogborn from CoachAisha.com. And the last time we were together, we talked about the fear of failure and how that little bitty emotion is keeping so many of you from starting your businesses, from writing your books, from launching your ministries, from using your gifts in a much bigger way. That little bitty emotion. And if you missed that video, I encourage you to go back and watch it on my website, CoachAisha.com. Make sure you grab a pen and paper because I'm going to walk you through an exercise to help you get rid of that paralyzing emotion for good. So make sure you check it out. But this week, I want to talk about another kind of fear. I want to talk about the fear of success. The fear of success. And I'll be completely honest with you here. This is something that I struggle with myself. So as I'm talking to you today, I'm talking to me too. So what is a fear of success? What does that look like? How do you know if you have a fear of success? Well, here are a couple of little indications that you might have something going on here. If you know exactly what steps you need to take to accomplish your goals, but you just aren't moving forward, you just might be suffering from a fear of success. Or if you find that other people who are looking to do the same thing that you're looking to do, they're always coming to you for advice and you give them wonderful advice, yet you're not applying it to your own situation, you just might be suffering from a fear of success. And here's the thing, we're not afraid necessarily of the fear of success, but it's the fear of the byproducts of success. Those things that are going to come along with it that may be less than desirable. Things like feeling like we have to, to give up our personal lives, or if you're a very private person, that you're going to have to give too much of yourself to the world. Fears that People are always going to expect you to, to come with your A game all the time. You're always going to be expected to deliver consistently every single time. You can't ever have a bad day. You can't ever mess up. Or, and, and this is a very, very real one, you're afraid of what your success is going to do to the people around you. Are you going to have to start wondering about everybody who comes into your circle, whether or not their, their motives are pure or not? Are you going to have the people who are around you now as your demands become greater and you don't have time to hang out maybe the way that you used to or talk on the phone for hours a day? Are they going to start thinking that you think you're too good or too important to spend time with them now? That's a scary thing to feel like maybe we're disappointing the people that we care about. Success can be a, a lonely place, but it doesn't have to be. So what do you do if you find that you are afraid of success or those byproducts of success and it's keeping you from moving forward? Well, I'm just gonna be honest with you. There, there's no exercise I'm gonna take you through, no five, 10 questions you need to ask yourself, you simply need to make a choice. Do you choose success or do you choose mediocrity? And here's the thing, yes, if you choose success, there's going to be some discomfort along the way. You're going to have to make some changes. People around you are going to have to accept that you're a different person and you have a different life. And that may be uncomfortable. But let me tell you what else is uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable going through the rest of your life always wondering what could have been. It's uncomfortable when every time you see someone else who is accomplishing the things that you know, you know you could have done. That's uncomfortable. I mean, literally, you will be sick. It will hurt you in the pit of your stomach. And so you have to decide. What are you going to choose? Are you going to choose the discomfort of maybe having to live a more disciplined and diligent life? Maybe having to, to cut some people out of, out of your life who don't understand where you're going or who aren't supportive of your goals? Or will you choose the discomfort of always wondering who you could have been, what you could have accomplished? 
Which one will you choose? Well, I'm telling you today, I, Aisha Codborn, I choose success. I decree that today and I encourage you to make that declaration along with me. And if you choose success, here's what I want you to do. I want you to let me know that you choose success. So if you're watching this on Facebook, go ahead and write a comment below. Let me know, Aisha, I choose success. If you're watching this through my newsletter, go ahead and send me an email message and say, Aisha, I choose success. If you are watching this on YouTube, write a comment below. Let me know that you choose success. And the second thing that I want you to do, and this is really important because this is going to help you so much. Remember I said that success can be a lonely place, but it doesn't have to be? Well, it doesn't have to be lonely if you bring some people along with you. So what I want you to do is send this video, for this video out to everybody that you want to make that choice along with you. Because guess what? If the people in your circle are choosing success and you're all moving towards playing that bigger game, you won't have people who are upset because you can't hang out all the, all the time or you can't always do the things that you used to do because they're going to be working hard, pressing right along with you. They're going to be there to encourage you as you encourage them. You can hold each other accountable and you can all celebrate together as you reach those milestones. So what are you going to do? What choice are you going to make? Are you going to choose mediocrity? Or are you going to choose success? Well, as for me, I choose success. Well, that's it for this week. I encourage you to stay connected with me on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, have a wonderful week on purpose.